It's March, and that means shamrocks, rainbows, and a whole lot of green. If you're looking for a few sensory bins to put out this month that embrace the season and offer some learning at the same time, you're in the right place. Stick around for four different simple and fun St. Patrick's Day sensory bins. We're gonna make a fun St. Patrick's Day sensory bin to practice number recognition, counting, and fine motor skills. Start by adding in this green dyed rice. Dyeing the rice is super simple, takes less than 20 minutes. Then add in some fun shamrock confetti. This is from a garland, I just pulled it off. Then I added some glitter shamrock floral picks. Now take some leprechaun pots and write a number on each one. Final touch, sprinkle in that leprechaun's gold. Now hand over the tongs and kids can use those tongs to put the correct number of coins in each pot. Here's another way to use this St. Patrick's Day sensory bin to practice sight words or spelling words. I had already added my green rice, shamrock confetti, and floral picks. Then I took these foam leprechaun pots and used a paint pen to write sight words on the back of them. You could actually have kids do the writing for additional practice. They could be spelling words if you want. Now I'm gonna tuck them into the bin and everyone will get a chance to come up and practice. I'll say a word, they'll look through the words on the pots to find the right one. That is an easy way to change out the activity, still use the same theme, and keep it simple. Are you looking for gold at the end of the rainbow? Well, we have to build a rainbow first. I made this sensory bin by dyeing rice in a bunch of different colors. Dyeing the rice is so simple, I was able to make all these colors with about 20 minutes worth of work. I'll link to the tutorial up here. After laying out the rice rainbow, I give kids a container with different colored manipulatives in it and they'll sort each bear into its correct color. Rainbow, done. All right, here's a fun St. Patrick's Day bin for kids working on phonics and those beginning sounds. Take your sensory bin, fill it with green rice, add in a few fancy clovers. Now add in some picture task cards. I make sure to include the letters that we're working on in class to really solidify those sounds. Lay out the matching letter task cards. Kids pick a card from the bin and match it up with its partner on the outside. We're using lowercase letter cards to match today, but this task card set also comes with capital letters, which means you could match pictures with the capital letters if you want, or you could match lower and uppercase pairs. Lots of options here. And there you go, four different bins to celebrate the luck of the Irish. If you're interested in more sensory bins, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We put out a new themed bin each week.